You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> from Homewood Field, Maryland falls to Hopkins. Congrats to Johns Hopkins. They take it 7-5, win the Big Ten, win the Crab Trophy. Bruce, what'd you see happen? I saw a very unusual game, a very defensive-oriented game. Uh, Maryland's offense was non-existent uh, after Hopkins went up 7-5. I think they went the final 17 minutes without scoring, and they went so long without a shot I thought the, def the offense was coming along once they had that penalty and took advantage of it. I thought Danny Kelly uh, got a couple goals and an assist, had some bad breaks in pipes. But at the end of the day, Hopkins outplayed us, and it's that simple. Uh, their defense was better than ours. I'm not sure their offense was much better. Uh, but they sat on the ball. Can you imagine a two-goal lead? They literally just ran out the clock and ran the game out uh, and you know got the W. They did. Maryland had no speed to their offense. Logan tried to get that start with some long passes. That backfired uh, several times. Maryland broke into the offensive zone. Maybe they could have shot it. Hopkins turned them away, and it ended up being another 82nd uh, Maryland possession. Bruce, Maryland just could not get a shot off, and they also couldn't hold on to the ball. Which one's more concerning? They both are. The whole offense is concerning. And uh, look, you hold Hopkins to seven goals. If I would have told you that beforehand, you would have said it's going to be a W. Bruce, if right. you would have told me you held him to seven goals, won 60% of the faceoffs, got more ground balls, had fewer penalty minutes, yeah, you would have thought Maryland won, but Maryland didn't get almost any quality shots. Well, you know, it's funny. Before the game on my show this morning, I said, look, if Maryland could get 55 to 60% faceoffs, they did. If Logan McNanny could stay over 50% saves, he did. 11 saves, uh, 7 goals. Uh, they won the ground balls, 26 to 19. But numbers don't mean anything. It's who puts the ball in the net. There is one number to the scoreboard. That's the only one that matters. Five, yeah. That's the only one that matters. But look, it's a tough loss. It's probably going to cost Maryland possibly a home game. All right, and it's definitely going to... It's not going to lower the RPI that much because you lost to the number three team. But, you know, what, what, and also Syracuse beat Virginia today, and Maryland has a win over Syracuse. And so I think Syracuse will move into the top five, which gives Maryland a uh, top five win, all right, and, uh, you know, three top five losses. I, I don't know how you look at it, but it was a great day for the cross, so that we both have to agree on. It was every seat, every corner of this field was filled. The weather could not have been better. And it was just, it's what lacrosse is all about. And it takes me back, oh wow, 60 years or more when I would come here when I was eight years old. Instead of going to the practice on Saturday because Maryland was playing Hopkins and it was always the game. And yes, I was rooting for Maryland back then too, all right? But uh, all that being said, the rivalry stands. It's the best. It was just a great day for lacrosse. Unfortunately, we lost this one. But you know what? We might get another shot at uh, Hopkins, and I look forward to that. And we'll be back with final comments after this break. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Hey, Rick Jackson. Who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know. Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? 
the Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the big dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. Never is back. It never left. It's never left. It's it's a little more back than it was for the past few years. I thought Tillman. I mean Tillman. I thought that Coach Millman had a great great answer to a question. Does he understand the rivalry yet? They've played eight times since he's been here. Eight times, if I'm not mistaken. A uh, three in the COVID year. Two. Uh, two in the year when Maryland was 22-0, and 0, and then two last year, and today. So it's more than a rivalry, it's like, uh, it's what it's about. And you know what, when you, how long has it been since Maryland lost? It's been a while. It's been a while, yeah, because they won last year, they won in 22, they won in 21, 19, I don't think they played here, but they lost both games at Maryland, I believe. And uh, you know what? Hopkins was a better team today. They, were. they got the trophy. They got an undisputed first place. They're going to be a top four team no matter what happens in the tournament. And, and, and hopefully we get to play them again. And hopefully we get to play them again, whether next week or two weeks rather. I think the week off is going to do us good. I'm not yeah. sure what Tillman's going to do with the offense. I, I'm not Something sure. Something different. He can't bring in new players, no. but, you know, I don't know what he's going to do. We, and we will find out. But That'll I will do say it this: one season. more thing. Okay. Daniel Kelly almost had an unbelievable day today. He had two goals and one assist and two pipes. Now the pipes don't count, do they? No, not not no. They but don't. but he close. really he really played well. That's right. it. That's it. All right, great day for lacrosse. We will see you uh, after Maryland plays in the Big Ten tournament. Good afternoon from Baltimore.